artists have been coming to the South Seas for, for years, for centuries, um, drawing inspiration from the, the natural beauty and the, and the cultural authenticity of the Polynesian people. Te Te Aroa really stands out as the quintessential example of all of those things. Tetiroa is an atoll comprised of 13 motus located 30 miles off the coast of Tahiti. To most around the world, it is known as Marlon Brando's private island, but for local Tahitians, it has played an important role in their culture for hundreds of years. In the past, only um, uh, the royal family of Pomare used to come here, living here a little bit, enjoying the, the climate. And, and there was also a lot of stories about these islands, uh, maybe treasure or something like that, you know. Uh, so it's a, it's a very, very special island from, for Tahitian people. Marlon Brando envisioned Tetiroa as a place for environmental research and education to take place for local Tahitians and tourists. His hope was that this little piece of paradise could somehow change the world. I think his, his idea of Tetiroa would I mean, at the end was to, for Titero to be a, 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 like a stepping stone for educational purpose also. Uh, finance maybe by the hotel and then uh, they came along with this project and uh, he thought it was going to be perfect. I met Marlon in 1999 and we worked together for the next uh, five years on a on a common vision that protects the environment, uh, serves the needs of capital, and also uh, meets the desires and expectations of the community. Pacific Beachcomber is hoping to accomplish three things through the Brando Hotel development. First, to maintain, preserve, and fund greater research of the environment. Second, support the growth and well-being of the local community. And third, to build the most luxurious, eco-friendly resort on the planet. The Tetiaroa community, such as it is, will consist, uh, first of all, of the Brando, the hotel, 36 villas. We're talking about a different kind of luxury. We're talking about a sort of luxury unplugged. And we'll also be uh, offering 25 home sites. A certain number of uh, individuals that uh, wish to uh, will be able to actually own a lot and build a home on, on Tetiaroa. The community infrastructure on Tetiroa is designed to allow all residences and guests to live in a neutral carbon footprint environment. So uh, the idea of that society to build a hotel here and a special hotel that preserves the uh, environment, uh, the nature uh, of this island is uh, very important for me as, uh, as a mayor. When the Brando opens its doors in 2013, it is expected to be the first platinum LEED certified destination resort in the world. We'll be using solar, of course. We have a lot of sun, it's a great resource. And uh, in addition, we'll be using uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil, it turns out, is a perfectly legitimate uh, fuel for generating electricity. Pacific Beachcomber is working with an innovative energy management company whose integrated power electronics and flow battery technology will provide the island with a reliable source of energy with no impact on the environment. Years ago, Marlon Brando originated the idea of seawater air conditioning. But through the help of Pacific Beachcomber, it became a reality when first implemented at their Bora Bora Resort. Marlon Brando's idea will now be used to help reduce energy costs on Tetiaroa as well. Uh, my, my role is to develop three different domains of activities, education, research and conservation, to try and make sure this, this atoll specifically is developed in a sustainable way for the future generation. And our goal as researchers and biologists is to try and evaluate the frequency of nesting of the female green tea turtle Pacific Beachcomber is boldly pursuing the vision Marlon Brando has always had for Tetiroa, a place to escape, learn, and innovate new ways to protect the culture and environment of Tahiti. In some sense, this is a very ambitious project, and if you do what we do for a business, it's a dream project. You don't get many opportunities like this. Tetiroa was always 
and I think will always be a place where people can be themselves and get back in touch with who they are. Uh, that this was true for the King of Araway, and it will be true tomorrow for, for our visitors. Save the Tiaroa, save the planet.